You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. DNA force. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. DNA force. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. DNA force. We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA force. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Open your eyes. It's time to give your eyes a powerful nutritional boost. Sight is the primary input to the brain, arguably making eyesight the most important sense we have. And just like the other important organs in our bodies, our eyes function at peak levels when they are fed the proper amounts of essential nutrition. Open your eyes. Combining key ingredients like vitamin A, zinc, lutein, proprietary saffron bulb extracts, and more, OccuPower by InfoWars Life is a new formulation specifically designed to nutritionally assist the natural function of healthy eyes. Optimize the natural power of your eyes with the latest addition to the super high quality InfoWars Life formulations, OccuPower. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to order OccuPower or call 1-888-253-3139. OccuPower, open your eyes. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. What do they do? They bring Ebola victims into the U.S. Never been done before. They leave the borders wide open and fly in record numbers of people from collapsing countries. As all of our allies shut down flights and they spin it and say, well, we've got to have our troops be able to get in to take care of the sick people. When they've had Pentagon generals, both retired and current, come out and say, A, our troops aren't trained, B, they'll just contract it and bring it back here. This is a terrible idea. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And it just illustrates they can't and they won't protect you. And for some reason... They want Ebola to break out in this country. And that's why I'm opening the phones up. I want to know from you out there in this segment and right through into the second hour today, why do you think this is happening? We've got SA Insider from FEMA Region 6, Spiro from Washington, Katie from Boston, Zach in Wisconsin, Cindy, Richard, Julio, Mark, Karen, Jason, is that Monique from Quebec, Canada, and many others? And we're going to try to go through your calls quickly to get your question or your comment. And then I will continue to go through all the news I haven't even gotten to yet. Ebola patient in Dallas fighting for his life, the CDC head has said. Remember just a few months ago, I'm like, the government's going to be to blame if they keep bringing these Ebola patients in and Ebola gets loose in the country, or if they don't ban flights like British Airways has done and like the UK has done. That was a month and a half ago. And they had CBS News stories and just you name it, literally dozens and dozens and dozens saying Alex Jones is a horrible, evil person. He doesn't like black people because he doesn't, you know, he, he wants to stop the flights. 
Oh, I'll assure you, if there was a country mainly of white people with a bowl, I wouldn't want them flying here. I mean, this is just no-brainer. No-brainer quarantine. They're going to wait till it spreads and quarantine everybody and forcibly inoculate us. Just get ready. They may not do it this time. This is a beta test, though. Mark my words, they're doing it on purpose. And so I'm, I'm to blame. I understand. Let's have some more CNN reports and another Washington Post attack piece like last week. And just because just we're so bad, because we say what Governor Jindal said before he said it, that it defies logic to not shut down those flights. And that's what he now says. Because I'm normal, see? I'm actually informed. I actually study things. And I'm actually concerned and involved. And I'm the bad man. That's right. Remember just four or five years ago, six years ago, it was still, oh, that crazy guy thinks the government's corrupt. Ha, ha, ha. Everyone knows the government's just fine. Everyone knows there's no corruption. Or, oh, yeah. Folks, they have been denying all this to get their system in place. And not everybody in government's bad. But the system has been set up to be very corrupt. And we better collectively turn this around or it's over. Because the political interests just get more power out of crises. More power out of discordia. It's, it's a system of milking chaos. Hegelian dialectics. Problem, reaction, solution. A buzzard economy. If you were a buzzard, crony capitalist, anti-free marketer, you're basically a vulture or a buzzard. Now, what do you want? You want happy deer running around the field? No, you want them dead, run over in the streets, you can eat them. And that's basically the type of culture they have. Corporate raiders. But they raid whole countries, and they artificially destabilize whole regions. And this is being done here now, so they can pose as saviors. And they'll probably give Obama an award after all this is over for battling Ebola or something. I mean, there's no end to it. It's about overturning reality, waging war on the truth, a war against reality. It's about flaunting corruption. It's about breaking our back, literally urinating on us to mark us as their property that they can do whatever they want, whenever they want, and laugh at us. This is criminals exercising evil upon us to break our will. I'm done ranting. I'm going to go to your calls throughout the entire next hour. Who should we talk to first here? I don't think I want to talk to Monique. You want to go to Kathy in Boston first? Yes, we do. Okay, Kathy in Boston, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. I wanted to just tell you that I lived in Dallas and had to relocate to Boston as a medical refugee in 2012 because even though I had insurance, I could not get access to care because I was on Medicare after working um, full-time with the high arch foot, going through surgery for that, you know, this and that. And I had no access to health care outside of Medicare. A root canal tooth failed. I know your dad's an oral surgeon, so you can probably, you know, talk to him about this later. I got acting on my coasts in my face, and part of my face got eaten off. And I was told when I went in, the first person that saw me said, you need to have a CT. We don't want to do anything until we make sure that the extra oral cyst is, you know, not connected to that. So I said, okay, great. I basically, she got trumped by the guy in charge, and two people told me they didn't want to take your Medicare. So I began a search to try to find a doctor to accept a new patient on Medicare while this thing was going out of control on my face. And I could not find one. Uh, finally, one in plain. Ma'am, all I could say is we're only taking calls on Ebola right now. That's what you told us. What's your Ebola point? Well, well the Ebola point is this, is that the breakdown of access to care in Dallas is so severe. Oh, yeah. That well, I mean, I mean, listen, states everywhere are collapsing from the 35 million to 40 million illegals that are given first treatment up front. The banks give them bank accounts first, houses first. It's been in the Associated Press to bring the giant population here uh, to devalue uh, the uh, currency and the rest of it. Uh, but no, I absolutely hear you is this is all part of becoming a third world nation is we're going to have third world disease. And then the government will come in with more Obamacare, more federalization as the answer to the crisis they helped create. Sorry to hear about your medical crises. Cindy in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks for thanking my call, Alex. Um, I'm just wondering, they don't seem to be panicking in any way, you know, who they are. Um, everybody else is freaked out about this Ebola thing, but aren't they afraid of it getting into their families? I mean, their families are all over the country. Pelosi, all of them have grandchildren. Obama has to do his fundraisers. Why are they not afraid of catching it? That's a great point. Thank you for the call. 
Please remember to turn your radios down, folks. We can actually hear you. Um, it's because they're definitely orchestrating it or they're riding the crisis. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. They have turned off all the defaults to do this, to bring in Ebola-infected people, to not track or quarantine the family when this first happened for five days, uh, to just try to have plausible deniability when Ebola starts popping up in other areas. Then the hysteria will start. But they didn't want to get it stopped up front. They wanted to get it in place first. Let's talk to Richard in Arizona. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, Alex, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I, you've talked to me before. I'm an independent health scientist. I've been for about 50 years and uh, working on all these diseases and age reversal, and I'm way outside the system. But I, I want to tell you just a couple of quick things. One is you're absolutely correct that it's completely intentional. Uh, CDC is not incompetent in any means whatsoever. They're following orders. And the things they're doing are more than obvious just to get it in place in America. And I would suggest that people use whatever time they have to get themselves in really good condition, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, get detoxified, change your lifestyle right now, not later, and uh, don't eat anything or drink anything that's not good for you. I mean, just basic ideas. Why do you think they want to get Ebola spreading in the country? Uh, I think they intend to wipe out a big chunk of the population on the way to leaving just a few left, which is the people at the very top of the power structure. Well, Dr. Eric Bianca at UT famously was on national television for his uh, his dream of 90% being killed by airborne Ebola to wipe out the scourge of humanity. Prince Philip has said the same thing. Queen Elizabeth II's uh, husband, and, and this is what my film Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement is all about. Great points. Uh, let's go to Julio. One more call before we go to break. Uh, you got about a minute, Julio. Go ahead. You know, it's not a coincidence, Alex, that uh, the mayor of Atlanta, Kasim Reed, would attend the Bilderberg Conference this year. I mentioned this on your show. Uh, yeah, you called in about two months ago, and you predicted uh, that, that they were going to re release it in the U.S. Absolutely. It's not a coincidence. You look at Bil Bilderberg's past, for example, Christine Todd Whitman. And absolute no one from New Jersey, her role was played as EPA director in New York on 9-11. Look at Rick Perry. Despite a failed presidential attempt, he's playing a big role here in, in, in your state, Alex, in Texas. He went to Bilderberg, too. I tell you what, stay there. I'm going to come back to you, Julio. Then Mark, Karen, Jason, Monique. S.A., Spiro, and others. Second hour, I'm your host, Alex Jones, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Please don't take this radio show for granted. There's nothing else like it. DNA force. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. DNA force. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies. DNA force. We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA force. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with 
with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.